Anytime a product is brought into the world, it is someone's responsibility. We really don't need more of everything. I think what we actually need are better things. As a design studio, I think that we have a different approach as far as how we want other people outside of our field to understand what we do as designers and engineers. So we work on a wide array of products, things as sober as medication adherence to a lot of really fun stuff, agricultural sensors that can monitor soil conditions that promote organic farming. We created a new VR experience that projects an image on the inside of this visor. And what it allows you to do is feel like you're inside a spacesuit by taking a lot of new technologies and applying them to human needs, we're able to create really impactful products in a variety of verticals. With each project, we're trying to respect something, whether that's someone's time or their life or the environment. And I feel like if the products that we create aren't at least doing one good thing, then we're really not doing this right. Every single product we develop here, we have industrial designers to sketch out the design. We have mechanical engineers on the team to figure out how everything could be assembled. And all of this requires us to work really closely together and we get inspired by each other and figure out the best solution to solve the problem. We have a saying here, there's sort of like no such thing as thinking in a group. Thinking happens inside a person's head. And so we have to create tools and processes in which people can think together. We're a small team that moves quickly and we need to be able to share files from SolidWorks or our 3D files to photography and video all the way to electrical files. And none of that software is online. It's all desktop software and it requires a lot of processing power. So really what Dropbox allows us to do is almost take that desktop software and turn it into a web app. It recognizes that the purpose of a company is to stay in flow and try and get things done very quickly and move on to the next thing. And it lets everyone collaborate without things getting in the way. We really like to work on products that are first of their category or first of their kind. Anytime we're designing a product, we are hoping that it is intuitive to people, that it's helpful, that the design is sort of uplifting and fun to use. The future is somewhat of a scary place for some people. For me, the uncertainty that's involved with looking towards the future is the exciting part. It's very easy to become discouraged by the progress of climate change or social injustice, and it's sometimes hard to see how what we're creating always fits into that larger solution to fix those problems. At the same time, it's really important to focus on the specific thing that you're developing. And if you can move the needle just a little bit, doing that will help us have some perspective on what we're trying to build in the future.